Latest food additive, scorpion poisoning, or scorpion poison. This is from Heidi Stevenson out of Gaia Health. Get ready for genetically engineered cabbages that come with their own scorpion poison just for you to eat. It's touted as requiring less pesticide use and, of course, being completely safe. Close investigation uh, indicates that neither claim is true. A pesticide made with scorpion poisoning gen is genetically engineered into a virus and was tested back, has been far tested back since 1994. Interestingly, the scientists who sprayed the field wore full body suits to protect them from this harmless poison. And Professor David Bishop, who insisted the trial was safe, opted to take a vacation instead of being present for the tests. Heidi also points out, uh, goes after their two claims. One, their first claim it will result in use of less pesticide. The reality is that instead of spraying pesticides onto the plants, the plants will contain them in every single cell. The result is that you, the pesticide will end up in the bodies of the people who eat the cabbage. Uh, assertion number two, it's completely safe. You hear this with vaccines, they're safe and effective. Vaccines are always safe and effective. Uh, the scorpion venom has been modified so it won't hurt humans. She said that isn't quite true. What they've done is uh, select a section of the genome that codes for a toxin called AAIT, which is known to be poisonous to insects. Um, and then they say the study purports to show that it does no harm to humans. Well. Not exactly. The, the testing was not done on humans, uh, it was not performed on live people, nor was it performed on normal healthy cells. It was tested on MCF-7 breast cancer cells, not exactly normal human cells. But that's okay, right? I mean, you can trust Big Agra and the FDA. Uh, the legacy of Roundup Ready uh, glyphosate resistant crops is, has been super weeds that are not only resistant to glyphosate, but grow much bigger and faster than the original weeds, and she concludes, Perhaps ultimately it will be the frequencies themselves that destroy agribusiness. They're locked into a system that is proving not to work. The real question then is whether they will destroy the earth and us before they've destroyed themselves. Excellent article. Uh, we need more people to do just simple investigations like this. Just looking at the studies, seeing where, you know, they say it's completely safe for humans. But we never even tested it with humans. We've never even had humans eat it. We just tested it on breast cancer cells. Well, that's a lot different than a human, as far as I know. I mean, I don't feel like a breast cancer cell, and I feel like a human. Uh, but I'm not going to be trying any of this scorpion cabbage. Doesn't sound too appetizing to me. Our final story today, 97% uh, opposed of TSA body scanners. I guess this goes in the no-duh category. This is from Steve Watson. TSA completes enforced public comment period of rollout of invasive technology. Um, Jonathan Corbett, an engineer who filmed himself passing through the scanners with metal objects in his pockets, we've had him on the show a couple times, reports that from his analysis of the most recent 100 comments on the TSA's website, 97% were opposed, with just 2% in favor and 1% appearing not to take a position on either side. At least 20 people mentioned me by name, a handful of others mentioned my blog or my video, and at least one likely TSA out of our pants reader took my suggestion and simply told the TSA they suck, Corbett writes. And uh, you can go back and search through prisonplanet.tv. You can search our archives and find interviews that we did with Jonathan Corbett where he actually shows you how he made the little vest pocket that he put the metal object in, that he walked through the scanners, that did not detect the object. He knew it wouldn't, and he's also done numerous other studies. He's even filed a lawsuit against the TSA for what they are doing to us out there, which is treating us like common criminals. And as we just showed you, the CIA and elements in our American government are financing Al-Qaeda, which they tell us the reason we have the TSA is to protect us from Al-Qaeda. That's why they have to look for Al-Qaeda in your pants. Our final uh, piece here is the quote of the day from Victor Hugo. Perseverance is the secret of all triumphs. And that is from Victor Hugo. Um, last Wednesday I did the news and I said, hey, we're going to release a bunch of the finalists on this date, uh, Wednesday, uh, June 26. Well, after I made that announcement, that bold announcement, David Knight came up to me and said, uh, Rob, um, we have 650 entries and I've gone through about 400 of them. And I said, wow, first of all, you went through 400 entries? That is a ton of entries. And I mean, I've seen so many good ones. We have since divided up uh, the stack into increments of 10, passed them out to all the reporters, and we're getting all the reporters to go through these last few remaining entries. 
Uh, what I want to show you is one that I went through uh, in my list, and this is from a filmmaker named Micah Ellers. Uh, the title of it's Operation Paul Revere, Infowars.com. Micah Ellers, it's what he put in his title. Um, I think he should come up with a better name, uh, like Man Awakens from the Hamster Wheel of Doom, or the New World Order Hamster Wheel. I thought his uh, use of imagery reminded me run, in Brazil and a lot of other Terry Gilliam films. It was definitely lower budget than those, but I thought his use of his budget and his resources was really outstanding. His, his visual use was good. I mean, very creepy film, the way he describes the New World Order and the way he uses his, uh, his filmmaking talents along with his other crew. They did a great job. I'm not saying this is in the finals, but this is one I wanted to share with you, and we'll have the address underneath there where you can um, go watch the rest of it, because we're only going to show you a portion of it. Also, send us your favorite video. Just send us one link to a video that you think is your favorite to Paul Revere. It's, yes, it's Paul Revere at Infowars.com. Just want to make sure it wasn't Paul Revere Contest. We are going to take that into account as we put out uh, the, the, the finalists, I guess. We're going to put out more of a, a, a all-encompassing list here. It won't have every single entry, but it'll have the ones that we think are really good. And we're going to be releasing these throughout the next few months of, of, of greater ones. We will have a winner by the end of July. But we're going to put these out and then slowly whittle down the list and you'll be able to provide your input there through comments and such at, um, on Infowars.com. And I will let you know as soon as that is released. But in lieu of releasing that today, I did want to show you this one film, Man Awakens from the New World Order Hamster Wheel. We're going to go to break. We'll be back with an interview from filmmaker Kevin Booth talking about his newest documentary, American Drug War II, Cannabis Destiny. And we'll be right back after this short break. And don't forget to become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv if you haven't already done so. It's very easy to do. You go to PrisonPlanet.tv, you sign up, get a username and password, you get a 15-day free trial, and it's only $5.95 a month, and you can share your username and passcode with up to five, or 11 other people. I've had 15-day free trial on my mind right there. So it's with 11 other people. So you can share your username and password, all get on, watch the movies, watch the specials. We're going to be producing a lot more here in the future at PrisonPlanet.tv, and we thank you for your support, and we go now to... Micah Ellers and the Man Awakens from the New World Order Hamster Wheel. to be even more productive. And where's my boy's salutation? Good morning. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, that's my handsome boy. I've noticed you haven't really been eating or drinking much lately. Don't you want to grow up big and strong like your neighbors? How else are you going to get your fluoride and additives? I'm worried about your health. Everyone should eat extra, extra healthy today because the Horn Queen Harlot is planning another attack. We thought we had her finished off, but as you can see, we are all still breathing the smoke from the burning remnants of her arson. She would destroy us all if she could. She hates us for our freedoms. We must all give everything we have before we no longer have the privilege to. We will do everything we can to keep the momentum going because we love you. 
and everyone will be remembered for their efforts when we live in a better time. So, Paul, what is bothering you exactly? I had another nightmare. This one was more, more clear than the last. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Are we choosing our own paths, our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. We need to always be cognizant of, as a free society, that information can be used as a weapon. Barrier to discovery is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. We are seen as nothing but biological androids. To gain control of education in America, not for a philanthropic purpose, but to change the thinking of the American people. From the time we're very young, we're taught to, you know, worship authority basically because that's our key to survival as young children. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. And the CIA scientists could actually film people who had been surreptitiously dosed with LSD. There's a brain entrainment process that takes place. That gives the government free reign to create whatever story or narrative it wants to create. Whatever the public face of something is, whatever they're talking about publicly, there's something else over here they're probably not looking at. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would fully endorse, not only endorse, but demand a war. When you watch mainline establishment television, you are putting yourself in front of the barrel of a gun. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control, psychological warfare, brainwashing. Are we controlled and manipulated? You bet. That's mind control par excellence. Find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes with this new groundbreaking documentary film, State of Mind. Available exclusively at InfoWars.com. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.